Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will continue to design right side of our sign up page using CSS. So let's not waste time and get started. Now for the right side of the div, let me just target it. For the right side of the div, the first thing is we are going to use a different font family that we earlier imported using Google Fonts. This one I'm talking about DM Sans. So for the font family, I'll write uh, something as a DM sans and in case of a fallback i'll write serif okay let me just save it and let's check the browser and as you can see the font has changed next up we are going to target this h1 okay so i'll write inside the right dev there is a h1 tag targeted what about that h1 tag we'll give it a different color and I have already written that 0, 2, 3. As you can see, this blue color. Let me save it and let's check. As you can see, get started now is in blue color right now. Same as this one. All right. Next up, we are going to increase the font size to 32 pixels. We'll give it a font weight of, let's say, 700. And let me, let me just save it. And as you can see, it looks much better now. We can give it some margin maybe. Alright, or maybe we'll look into the margin later on. Next up is we are going to target this paragraph element. Alright, so I'll again write inside our right div, there is a paragraph element. Alright, and for that paragraph element, I want the font color to be something like 747577. Light gray it is and the font size should be close to 13 pixels. Let me save it and as you can see here, the paragraph changes. All right. Next up, what we are going to do is we are going to target our form. I'm talking about this form right here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just give this form maybe an ID, right? So that we can easily target it. We can also write form here and then target it. But um, when you make websites, you can have multiple forms. So it is better to give them a class or in our case, we only have one form. So we will give it a ID. So the ID will be something like a sign up form. And let me save it and let's target this sign up form using hash because it is a ID. Now inside the sign up form, the first thing we'll notice is if we go to images, if we go back to the image, as you can see this sign up form, they are on top of each other. All right, so we need to give them a display flex. So what I'll do is, and I'll give this a display of a flex. If we save it and go back to the document, nothing is happening. Uh, that's why, because I made a mistake, it's a sign up form and there is a spelling error here. So I'll write sign up form and save it and let's go back. Now here, as you can see, I'm given a display of a flex to the sign up form. Next thing, I will give it a flex direction of column and save it. And if we go back, as you can see, the direction changes of these elements and now they are on top of each other. All right. We can also give some gap between the elements, let's say a gap of six pixels and save it and let me check. And as you can see, there is some gap between these elements. Next up, we are going to target these uh, social buttons. So here I'll write social buttons. And for the social buttons, firstly, let's give them a width of, let's say 220 pixels. Let me save it. Let's go back. Okay, we can give it a bit more, maybe 225 or 224 pixels. Or not the social media buttons. We can directly give these width to the buttons itself. It won't work for the div, but it will work for these buttons. So let me just delete it. And here I'm just going to use display flex so that we can properly align the two buttons here, the sign up with Google and sign up with Apple. So if I save it, as you can see, they are together now. Now the next thing is to give it some gap, let's say a gap of 14 pixels, let me save it and go back. And there is some gap between these two elements here. Next after we are going to target these buttons and we already have given a class to these buttons. As you can see, so I'll quickly write dot btn 
and for these buttons as i told you earlier the width will be 224 pixels save it and let's check and as you can see the width increases next up we are going to give them a height of let's say 50 px and we'll give them a background color of white also we'll give them a border of one pixel solid and the color is going to be the same blue that will match the left side and uh, let me just save it we can also give them a font color of the same blue and let me save it and let's go and check as you can see this is how it looks we can also give them a border radius and other stuff so after the color what am i going to do is i'll give them a font size of 16 pixels and then a font weight of 600 border radius as i told you um, border radius we can give something like 10 pixels and finally the cursor will be pointer for this button and i'll save it and let's go back and as you can see the cursor is now pointer for these buttons we can later on add some hover effects over these buttons as well or what we can do is i'm just going to add some hover effects so that they can look bit better so these buttons i'll give them some hover effect so this is how you give a hover effect to a button okay now for the hover effect i will change the font color to white it is originally blue it will change to white on hovering and the background color will be blue here let me save it and if i go back as you can see the hover effect is working correctly for these three buttons now after these button elements we are going to target our form so i'll just quickly copy the id for this form and let's start working on it i'll write hash then sign up form now inside the sign up, sign up form we are going to target our labels so we have two labels one for the username another for the password what about these labels firstly the font color should be changed and the font color is going to be hash 0, 0, 1, d 3 and c so something like this and then uh, let me just save it and check first as you can see the color of the username and password text changes we can also capitalize them so here is how to capitalize using css what i'll do is i'll write text transform property and i'll set it to capitalize if i save it and go back as you can see the first alphabets are capitalized to u n and p here okay let's go back after this what i'll do is i'll change the font size to something like 15 pixels and give it a font weight of 500 let me save it and let's go back and yeah they look much better next up we are going to target these inputs for the username as well as for the password so i'll again write hash and then sign up form and inside sign up form we have something called as inputs so for all these inputs so for all these inputs what will i do is i'll change the width of these inputs so here i'll use css functions how to use this function i'll simply write calc which stands for calculate and inside these parentheses i'll write 100 percent by this 100% I mean the width of the parent uh, here the parent is the form element itself so the width of the parent that is 100% and I'll just subtract something like 50 pixels from it if I save it and let's go check something like this all right now after this width let's just give them more properties let's say a padding of 16 pixels and we'll give it a border of none and we'll also save it and let's go back to check and the borders are not there so i'll add a outline okay so i'll write outline and it will be one pixel solid and then some color i have already written this color as you can see something like this let me just save it and go back and as you can see it's working let me just give them some border radius all right so here for the input i will write a border radius of 10 pixels and save it let's go back and as you can see the borders are a little bit curved now all right now after this this is the input i'll target this button and this button right here the sign up if we go back to browser 
this button looks same but it should look a little bit different because this is the form sign up button so oh, what i'll do is i'll target this button for this button it already has a class of btn so what we can do is we can say inside our sign up form here let me just copy paste something like this inside our sign up form we have a button so target that button and for that button i want the background color to be something like the original blue right that is from the left side and then the text color should be white after that the width i'll again calculate the width so it will be the same as the input so i'll just copy and paste it right here this will be the width and we'll just give it some margin let's say top and bottom will be 18 pixels and left and right will be zero let me save it and if we go back as you can see this button looks much much different now after that we'll add some hover effect over this button too so i'll just quickly copy and paste this and i'll say on hover what i want you to do is on hover i want the color to be the blue one and i want the text color basically i want the background color to be white let me just save it and go back and as you can see the buttons look a bit beautiful now let me go back to vs code now after the buttons we are going to target this paragraph tag so for these paragraph tag we can just quickly just go here if we go to the image first as you can see for these paragraph tags here if i just maximize it we have these links also for terms of service and privacy policy so let me just add these links here so here for terms of services i'll add a, a tag and we don't have any link right now but let me just put the terms of services inside this link tag and similarly for the privacy policy as well we'll put this inside link tag and just save it and let's go back to browser to check yeah there they are we can change the color of these links a bit so what i'll do is for the after the sign up form i'll just simply target this links because there are only three of them in our page and i'll just give them a little bit of different color same as our uh, left side blue let me save it and go back and as you can see they are same now matching the accent of left color as well now uh, the last thing left here is that we need to center this entire thing this entire div of right we need to center it right here just like this image let me just bring back the image as you can see according to this image we need to center it right here to do that what i'll do is where is my right div this one so yeah for the right div what am I going to do is, so for the right div, what am I going to do is, let me just see, the color is white, but if you want to be really specific, if you want to give it some other color, we can simply write background color and give it another light color. If I save it, as you can see, but we don't need a gray color. So we need pure white color. So I'll write FFF, which stands for white. Next thing here, what am I going to do is, just to be specific we give this a width of 50 percent so we will give this right one also a width of 50 percent so you basically understand as a beginner how you design a page after this what i'll do is i'll just simply use flexbox flexbox makes it very easier so display flex and save and as you can see all the elements are now in row we need to change it from main axis we basically will be doing as will change the main axis from horizontal to vertical direction and that is how we do it is we write flex direction and we set it to column and if i save it as you can see all of these things are back to normal next up what we'll do is let me give it some padding so from top and bottom 50 40 pixels and from right and left 64 pixels if i save it and let's go back as you can see it's centered now next thing we can do is we can give it a gap of 30 pixels so i'll write 34 pixels and save it and as you can see there there is some gap between the elements right now between these headings paragraphs and next thing 
what we can do is to make it more center looking we'll just simply write justify content center if i hit enter and save it as you can see all of the elements are centered now now if we go back to the image to check if we have completed so this is the image and this is the final product as you can see there is very less margin between this heading and this paragraph of enter your credentials but here there is too much space so we can quickly change it what i'll do here is i'll give it a margin so i'll just go back to visual studio code and here for our right div what i have done is inside the right div i'll just write margin bottom and i'll give it a negative value all right so that there is less space between them let's say 30 pixels i will save it and let's go back as you can see the margin is less now let us check the original image as you can see this is the original image the final image and this is what we have created we also have a margin here if you did notice we can use the margin here or we can just have something else maybe break the line element you know br tag we can use so here what i will do is i'll write br and let me just save it and let's just go back as you can see there is some space now let us compare with this image so we are almost done with this sign up page as you can see it almost looks similar of course this needs a lot of refining and a lot of good practices are also needed here but this was uh, to show you guys how to target a design as a beginner so here I have only used some basic properties of CSS and we have used a CSS Flexbox as well. So we have completed this website and let's just quickly see what this text means. I'll just go to Google Translate and let me just paste it here. And this says this is tutorials point easy and easy learning. Visit our website and sign up today. All right. So. That will be it for this video. In the next coming videos, we will be learning about more CSS concepts and properties like CSS grid and much more. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.